Welcome to Portsmouth on the south coast of England and we're here today because today we're taking a ride on the world's only passenger hovercraft. Today I'm going to be taking a mode of transport that, well, it's got a bit of an identity crisis. You see, it kind of half thinks it's a boat and half thinks it's an aircraft as well. Um, let's head inside and I'll um, explain a little bit more about what I mean. All right, so all checked in for my ride on the hovercraft today across to the Isle of Wight. It's about a 10 minute ride on this hovercraft, um, which apparently is like an aircraft. Never been on one before. No, I don't know much about them at all. Um, it, apparently it flies, at, it's used class as a flight, and they sell them as flights um, that are like flying at like four or five feet above the ground or something. But um, yeah, it's about a 10 minute flight across to ride on the Isle of Wight. We've got a ticket to ride today, and that's where we're headed to. Been waiting to get that one in for a very long time um, and yeah it's about a 10 minute ride all checked in very seamless process you just sort of give your tickets at the desk and then come and wait and then we wait for the big floaty hovercraft thing to come over and pick us up and take us on as a little ride so it's going to be fun looking forward to this i think it's about three, it about three hours or something to the isle of wight on the boat three hours it's a long way yeah on a hovercraft it only takes a few minutes it's 10 minutes yeah when we flew over yeah. It took about 30 seconds to go from Portsmouth to <laughs> the other side. Yeah. It's quite cool. And it took us an hour to fly from home. Yeah, so this is the only hovercraft. This is the only one. This is the only passenger, passenger hovercraft ever. This is, this is the only passenger hovercraft in the world. There were ever. more, yeah. There were there used to be more, but now, but now this is the only one. So this is the only one. The only one. Yes. The only one. Yes. Are you excited about that? Yeah. You're looking forward to it, mate? Yeah. Thumbs up from Sam. I didn't realise you were recording that. Oh, thank you. I've not seen it all close yet, so this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely getting a window seat. We are. Yeah, we can use the stairs. I think my mum and granddad are going to use the ramp, but we use the stairs. There we go. Are we going to the back? Just further back, yeah. Yeah. There you go, sit down here somewhere, Sam. Excited, Anna? Yeah, excited, Mummy? All right, so here we are on board the world's only passenger hovercraft. Are you excited, Woo! Sam? Yeah, you ready to go to the Isle of Wight? I am, yes. We've got a ticket to ride, haven't we? Yep, and all and you we don't can, care. And all you guys can watch I Totally missed that. You don't you, have you to can. pay a penny. You don't have to pay a penny. As always, what we do here on this channel, isn't it, Sam? Yep. So this is the hover travel hovercraft. I'm sure it's got a technical. Oh, it's here. It's a, it's a Griffin Hoverwork 12,000 TD hovercraft. There's the safety card. Couldn't even pronounce it. There's your safety card. It's in a 242 configuration. I think yes, it is 242 configuration. These are the window seats. And then there's more passengers over in the other middle, and then there's more on the other side as well. And this thing will lift up on these massive beds of air at the side of us and float up in the air as we go cruising across at a cruising altitude of about five feet, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, there is a life jacket under your seat. Please place it over your head. Pass the belt around your waist and hold the buckle and pull the belt as tight as possible. There is no seat belt today. No seat belts? No. Cracky. You are not allowed to smoke anywhere on this flight. Each life raft can hold 100 people. There is a first aid kit and extinguishers located at either end of the That's it. Hovercraft. How do you put your oxygen mask on, Sam? There is none. There is none? Oh, okay. We're not going up high today. In yeah, the are we going to six feet? That's not quite high. We will indeed, Sam. Oh, we're going up. I feel floating. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I feel floating. You feel floaty? Yeah. Oh, this feels weird. I'm crashing to 
that building. So then, airborne from Portsmouth on the hover travel Griffin Hover Work 12,000 TD hovercraft heading to the Isle of Wight ride. That's so cool. And we're now over the water. This is so cool. Feels so weird, doesn't it, Sam? How does it feel? Yeah, feels good. Does it feel weird? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. We're going really fast as well. Very cool. And here we go, across to the Isle of Wight. Yay! Hey. So the seats on board the um, Griffin Hoverwork 12000 TD hovercraft are pretty comfortable, aren't they? Yeah. Um, you've got quite a lot of leg room here, more than enough for this 10-minute um, flight. Um, the seats don't really go flat or recline or anything, um, which is a little bit disappointing. No life flat beds on this flight, um, sadly. Um, and I don't even know if we're going to get a meal service on board. I don't know, they're going to have to be flying around to do that quickly, aren't they? Um, I don't know if there's going to be a loo review today. I don't know. Oh no, a loo review. I, I, there's no, I don't even think there's a toilet actually. Oh. So we might be able to not do a loo review either. Oh, that's annoying. So um, your yeah, basic is the um, is the answer, but I suppose we are only on board this Griffin Hoverwork 12000 TD hovercraft for 10 minutes as we make our way across to the Isle of Wight. Cruise right across these waves. It's so smooth. Now, Rach doesn't even do boats. How are you feeling on the boat on the Griffin 12000 TD hovercraft? It's okay. It's okay. We've got a. It's okay from Rach. How are you feeling, Anna? Nice. You enjoying it? Yeah. Yes. That's a yes from Anna as well. Awesome. We are hitting some turbulence though, so I think that's why the meal service has been suspended, Sam, because of the turbulence. Fasten your seatbelt signs, the fasten seatbelt sign does not exist. Anyway, back to the video. Nearly there, Sam. Yay! According to my GPS tracker, we are doing a speed of 45 miles an hour at the moment at an altitude of about six feet. Yeah. It's going that's fast pre enough. pretty flipping quick, yes. Pretty quick. And well, there's the Isle of Wight. And we're turning, here we go. Pyong! This is wicked fun, this is so cool. <laughs> I did think I'd enjoy this. Secretly, I really enjoyed this. It's wicked. And now we're back on land. And there we go, touchdown. Welcome to the Isle of Wight, everyone. Welcome to the Isle of Wight. There we go, thank you, darling. Welcome back to land. Enjoy that, Sam? Yeah. It's fun, wasn't it? All right, and welcome to the Isle of Wight. Yes, welcome to the Isle of Wight. Only after a little ride on the old hovercraft, we've got a couple of hours in. Now let's kind of have a look around, yep. see what there is to do here on this little offshoot of England, just off the south coast, and we'll see what there is to do. Yeah. Come on then, let's go. All right, so we've found a bus. What is it, Sam? Uh, something. A bus. It's a bus. And it's got no roof on it. So we're going to go and, I think it takes us on a ride around the Isle of Wight. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to have we a- We got subway. 
We've got subway. We're going to go on the bus on the Isle of Wight. I need to subway and hopefully be back in time for the ferry. Yep. The Griffin Hoverworks G12000 TD hovercraft thing yep. to get back to the um, back to the mainland. But we're going to have a ride around the Isle of Wight first. You excited? Yep. Cool. All right. Don't, don't do that. Apparently, according to some people, that's very rude. People keep oh. telling me it's rude. Oh. Then why do you we, do it? We, we, we don't care because I don't care, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care either. That dude, we're on the bus. Ooh, yeah. I got a map. Yeah, he's got a map. Yeah. So I got a map. He's got a map. Sam knows where we're going, even if I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Let's take this bus ride around the Isle of Wight. Literally goes right opposite the hovercraft um, place as well. Which is, obviously, which is obviously just there um, and we're just sort of here um, and um, yeah we're gonna get on our way and have a tour around <sighs> the Isle of Wight. As we leave Wright bus station you will be able to see the island's hovercraft terminal. Hover travel began operations between Ride and South Sea in July 1965 and is the world's oldest hovercraft operator. This service is believed to be the only passenger service of its kind in Western Europe, and Hover Travel claim that it is the only commercial passenger hovercraft service in the world. Spicer. During the late 1950s, early prototypes of the hovercraft were developed. The island-based Bloodstone Border Morris dancers have taken their name from this area. So one thing we are learning on this trip is that although it's a really beautiful island, everything's named after somebody being slaughtered or murdered or hung or guillotined or something. Island, it's, um, yeah. Visibility permitting. <laughs> it's a peaceful but little island, but it doesn't seem that peaceful, does it, Sam? No. <laughs> back into ride do you enjoy yep. that enjoy your ride yep. do you enjoy your ticket to ride yep it's bouncy bouncy yeah you're on a bus then yeah that's what happens bumpy. yeah not a very good roads but um hey we're, we're back now traveling along ride esplanade there we go that's where we are ride esplanade mainland with views of the Solent, mainland britain and the concrete sea, seafront or something. 1880 we're back defending seaside architecture peter pan's playground a bowling green a swimming pool with retractable roof and many bars, restaurants and souvenir shops. All right, then time to go and get back on board the hovercraft back across to Portsmouth. Let's go. All right, then back at the hovercraft place. Are you ready to go back to um, back to Portsmouth? Yeah. The boat's just arrived. We just got a great drone shot of it coming in, didn't we? Say yeah. yes, Sam. You haven't seen it yet, but you say yes. Yeah. yeah, great drone shot of it coming in. And um, yeah, we're about to go and get on the boat and head back across yeah. across to water yeah. to um, Portsmouth. So um, yeah, you excited again? Yeah. Cool. You think we'll be able to get to a window seat? I don't know. Everyone's in a rush. Yeah, because they always want to. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have a window seat. It's like flying in Russia, everybody like tries to race to the front, don't they? Yeah. <sighs> and on a bus it's all about sitting at the back. It is. But why? I don't know, we're all going to the same place at the same time. Yep. It annoys when people do that. Never mind, we're back on board. The hovercraft, the um, Kazakhstan Express, as I'm going to call it, with yep. everybody flying and rushing to try and get on board. <sighs> we're back on board.
ready, Sam? Yeah. For another hovercraft adventure? Yeah. So there we go, once again airborne on board the Griffin Hoverwork 12000 TD Hovercraft heading back to, where are we going, Portsmouth? Yep. Yay. Having fun? Yep. What's it feel like riding on a hovercraft? Tell everybody what it feels like. Weird. Weird. It's kind of floaty. Kind of floaty, yeah it is a bit isn't it? And we're doing like 45 miles an hour, would you believe it? 45 mph as we tanking across the um, English Channel, the Solent actually this bit is, um, back to Portsmouth. There's the normal Isle of Wight ferry over there. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later, suckers. We're overtaking them. Yay. Eat our spray. Yeah. Near miss with that boat, but where? Look how close we are to that one. Move! Move! Go! Coming through. Shift your boat. We're faster than you. Move it, move it. Yeah. Suckers on the slow boat. Might be waving back, Sam. Might be waving back, but they're also only doing about five mile an hour. <laughs> oh, turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. Wee. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching Chelsea. Oh, I was enjoying that. We're coming into land. We are now approaching Portsmouth. Please make sure your uh, non-existent seatbelts are fastened. Thank you for enjoying the flight. If you did. I enjoyed it, that was wicked. And we're back on dry land. Yay! And touchdown! Touchdown! Made it, Sam. Yay! Microphone's here, mate. Yay! <laughs> There goes the cushions. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live Zoom calls with me, and much, much more. There we go, back on the mainland. You enjoy that? Let's come in this bit with me, Sam. We're fighting for a different, a different time for you today. Yeah, it is. Yeah, how are you doing? All right. Yeah, I'll follow you on Facebook. Oh, do you? Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, we, th we thought we'd try something a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Look forward to watching this one. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you too. See ya. All right, then. Welcome back to Portsmouth. How was that, Sam? Good. Good, good, good. Did you have fun? Yep. Fantastic. I enjoyed my lunch. You enjoyed your lunch? Did you enjoy the hovercraft bit? Yeah. That was all right, I suppose. Yeah. And have you enjoyed seeing the Isle of Wight? Yeah. Yeah? Never yeah. been before, have you? First time you've no. been? Yeah. First time for everything. Yeah. That's not how it goes, is it? Anyway, yeah. hope you've enjoyed this video too, as much as we've enjoyed making it. We are off to find the rest of the family who have now disappeared to the arcade to go and um, spend all my money. So, um, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, <laughs> let's go and join them. But in the meantime, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Take care. And what do we say, Sam? We'll see you next time. Bye for now.